Well, good morning and uh, Merry Christmas. Finally got the holidays behind us and so now we can get back to work. Oh, humbug and all that good stuff. Anyhow, um, this video is about uh, making the strut for the nose gear for the A6. It's uh, on, on the other videos. Uh, you might have noticed that the axle was totally offset to the actual steering arm and it was way out of whack. So I had to design a jig and uh, it's worked perfectly. So this bit of video is about that. It's a short clip, so try and watch it all the way. Uh, it does help the channel if uh, we get more view hours, as they call it. So uh, anyhow, happy holidays. Hope you all got the presents you wanted. Uh, I know I did. So uh, let's get on with it. All right, I've now uh, printed out the uh, jig design. I'm putting on uh, the alignment to uh, indent the uh, strut ready for drilling and uh, using the uh, sprung center punch. And everything's ready for drilling now. So we're at the uh, drill now and uh, I'm just going to uh, drill a uh, centering hole to help my uh, finishing drill align up and uh, get through it. I'm using a number six uh, drill bit here and uh, just prepping the hole, ready to uh, thread a 632 tap into it. All right, I've got the uh, hole drilled. I'm now using a 632 uh, threaded uh, tap, and I'm putting a little downward force and just checked for alignment. It looked like it's all nice and vertical. So I'm just easing it down and backing it off once in a while to clear the thread. Uh, the nice thing about these struts is the it's an aluminum strut with a wall thickness of about three millimeters. And the nice thing is there's an inner tube of uh, steel, which is about two millimeters, maybe two and a half, three millimeters in uh, wall thickness. So it takes a, a thread really, really good. Normally with these aluminum struts, as you probably well know, is if there's no steel uh, wall inside, uh, you, you know, you get very little uh, usage as far as tightening and untightening, uh, removing your uh, bolt or whatever. And uh, these struts just work really good. You can really tighten them up and uh, on the pin and uh, it just works really good. Love them. Got them from Hobby King, by the way. So I found some uh, hardened steel uh, five millimeter pins uh, on uh, eBay. Uh, I don't know what you call these things. Uh, it's it's uh, what is it? Clevis pin, a T pin, or something like that. But anyhow, it has that uh, flat blob on the end of it. So to install these into the new. Uh, to make the gear steerable, I should say, I have to just simply lay the, the pin, the uh, end bit, the blob, down a little bit so that it can rotate within the uh, knuckle. Otherwise, it's too tight and I can't get it in. Now, if you don't have a lathe, uh, another way of doing it is uh, you could put a drill in a vise, uh, put the pin into that and then just spinning up on uh, as fast as the drill will go and uh, just use a file. 
it'll do the same thing. It, it's just that I'm lucky enough that I have a, a small lathe that I use quite often to make parts. So now I'm just going to clear the crap off the end of the uh, pin and then uh, using the knuckle I'm just checking for fitment and obviously uh, I've not machined enough off yet so I'll uh, continue and just machine it all off and get it so it fits and spins perfectly. And as you'll see it's a perfect fit so uh, let's move on to the next phase. So for the video I've uh, got a brand new retract because the other one I'm not really sure I trust the uh, previous one I showed you uh, due to uh, it being in a crash. So what I'm doing now is I'm removing the three grub screws. There's one on top then there's going to be two at the side so when we extend the uh, retract here uh, we'll be able to get to them. A lot of times people don't realize that there's uh, you know, usually three grub screws in a retract. So we're going to remove those now and uh, then we should be ready to take the pin out. And there we go, the pin just pops right out, no problem. Because uh, it's not being uh, held by the grub screws anymore, so we'll take the one, the uh, new five millimeter pin, uh, which we've modified, and uh, we'll. Uh, I'll show you how to install that. So first, we have to just remove and all these uh, side screws and open the case. So with the magic of video editing, we'll take a five minute job and turn it into just a few seconds, and then we'll split the case open. So splitting the case open is very easy. I generally just pry a little bit on that mounting bracket just to loosen it up, make sure you disconnect from power and then use a knife or something like that just to pry the uh, end apart. Gently wiggle it out and you'll find that most of the components stay in one side. So I've just removed the steering knuckle and I'm just going to drop my new uh, stero stero steering pin into it and then uh, pop the knuckle uh, back in to the uh, case and then we'll uh, pop it back together being very gentle and make sure those wires don't get pinched they just fit in a little groove on the side so being gentle i'm going to put the other uh, part uh, the other side of the case together i'm going to just tuck the wires in a little bit. You may have to uh, uh, use something to uh, center those rotating pins for the knuckle. Uh, in this case, I didn't have to, it just went straight in. And then you just reset all the screws. Now here's a real tip. What I always do when, when you've got uh, basically threaded screws, they, they look more like, a, I guess, I don't know, a machine screw, a wood screw or something like that, fairly coarse thread. Uh, into plastic don't just go uh, screwing the thing to the right to tighten it back it up with a little pressure on it and you will hear a click that means that the threads have aligned and then you can tighten it up being uh, very gentle and that way you don't ruin your threads and I've been doing this for years and never ever had a problem with uh, retracts or any other plastic part So just to recap, remember, don't turn to the right immediately, back it up to the left counterclockwise, listen for the click, and then uh, go clockwise and uh, tighten up the screws. At this stage, when you're gonna power up, you have to be extremely careful. The uh, pin has no more grub screws in it, so it's free to rotate, go in and out, do whatever. So it's just sloppy. So when you're first testing it, make sure that the pin is pointing down, i.e. the gear is like in a, you know, a downward gear position and uh, don't rotate it until you've done that. Otherwise the uh, pin can fall in and lock up between the worm drive gear and uh, the back of the pin and it will just simply jam up the uh, retract. Uh, so just be careful of this. 
Now I'm sliding the uh, strut uh, onto the pin, uh, ready for the installation. So I've used my screwdriver here to uh, jam the pin so it cannot uh, go in when I put pressure on it when I'm sliding the, the uh, strut on it. If I don't do this, then like I said previously, uh, the pin's going to move, it's going to get jammed between the worm gear and uh, you kind of screwed. It doesn't really damage anything usually, maybe it will with a smaller uh, uh, retract with a smaller worm screw. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've never had a problem. All I do is if it does jam, I just simply retract it back out and uh, pull the pin as I'm doing it so there's, uh, you know, there's no pressure on it. So I'm just going to now uh, slide, I mean, uh, put the grub screw in so uh, I can test uh, the retraction of it and everything fitting. All right, now we're getting to the final stage now. Because I uh, custom built my own uh, steering arm, uh, I should say custom designed it, 3D printed it in uh, solid with uh, zero fill. Um, I now need to uh, put a flat spot on the uh, end of the uh, strut which uh, the steering arm attaches to. So I put the strut back into the uh, jig with a uh, axle on it so that it aligns, you know. And then now I'm going to basically just eyeball and hand file a flat spot uh, on the aluminum uh, strut. Uh, so that it's about the correct size to uh, fit into my steering gear, as you will see in a minute. In this case, I've already got a, a strut which I've uh, pre-filed, fitted, and know it's the right, uh, you know, depth and all that good stuff. So I'm just using that as reference why I do this one. It's just a matter of being patient until, uh, you know, you get it right. You can just test fit. If it's too tight, file some more off. If it's too loose, well, I guess you screw, so you have to use some glue. <laughs> and by the way, I was talking about 100% fill, not 0%. So I print my parts solid. So you can see on the steering gear at the top where my flat spot goes into another flat spot, which is in the steering gear. And this is to basically just help, uh, you know, when you're steering and the torque is on the uh, strut that you've got something to uh, hold into to stabilize the strut and the steering arm. And then uh, on the opposite side where it's deep, uh, I don't think I showed you really here, uh, that's where the uh, 3 8 grub screw goes in, the 632 grub screw, and it goes through the uh, steering arm, which is also threaded by the way, it self taps, and then into the strut, so you've also got a locking pin there to uh, stop it from spinning around. Coming uh, very soon is going to be a video on how to make your own landing gear doors uh, and plug and make the molds. Uh, 